we are back for another yarn review. This is Bernat Softy Baby Chunky. So it's not just Softy Chunky, but it's Softy Baby Chunky. This is um, marketed toward children and babies' clothes. It's a yarn by yarnspirations.com. You can go to that website and look up free patterns for this yarn. The pattern that they've got here on the label is called a hooded cowl. And you need one or two balls of yarn to make this design. And it calls for a crochet hook size L11, which is 8 millimeters. So let's learn about this yarn. It's a new yarn. The color I have is called You Go Girl Variegate. It has pink, uh, rose, and coral, a pale orange there. Very pretty colors. This is a bulky yarn, number five. Um, with knitting needles, you need to use a size 11 needle. You'll get 12 stitches and 16 rows in a 4x4 four four inch or 10x10 10 10 centimeter square. To crochet, you need a size L or 11 hook, which is also 8 millimeters. You'll get 9 single crochets and 10 rows in a 4x4 four four inch or 10x10 10 10 centimeter square. It is machine washable and dryable. Um, do not bleach, do not iron, and do not dry clean. 100% acrylic. Each skein is 4.25 ounces or 120 grams and the length is 123 yards or 112 meters. And this, I've been working for um, Yarn Inspirations for a long time so I've seen a lot of their yarns. This reminds me a lot of the old version of Softy Chunky. Not the new version, which is thicker, but the older version. And I think it's pretty much the same gauge as that yarn. So if you have any of those old patterns, you could use this yarn for that. Alright. It is three strands. And it's loosely... Um, twisted. It's not got a tight twist. It has a loose twist. So I would, I would imagine that this might split easily if you're not careful with your needles, if you're knitting with it. So let's go ahead and try knitting with it. I'm going to use my vintage plastic needles. I'm going to cast on a little bit here. a couple more. Yeah, this yarn is very, very easy to work with. It just flows through the fingers really nicely. It has a soft feel since this is a baby version yarn. It um, has a soft touch, feels good against the skin. slips and slides and glides on the needles. I would think that this yarn would work well with any kind of knitting needles, bamboo or metal. It might be a little bit too slippery for metal, but you'd have to try that to find out. But it is very, very easy to work with. This yarn would be perfect for beginners because of how um, easy it is to work with and how good it feels on your hands. It works quickly too. Since it's a bulky yarn, you can make a project very fast. And part of me feels like this yarn might um, work well with size 10 and a half or size 10 needles. Because um, 
this feels very loose as I'm working on it here. I feel like it could be a more um, solid, tightly woven fabric if you use size 10 or 10 and a half needles. Very easy yarn to work with. Easy, easy. Let's do some pearls here. I like how the color changes too. It's a subtle striping. It's not just straight stripes. It gives it a nice color variation. Pearling is very easy with this yarn. Just an easy yarn to work with. You can make a scarf with this in no time. It'd be good for making hats or blankets, jackets. It's just a good all around yarn. And it's so soft. shows stitch definition well. So if you did cables, they would show well with this. Of course I think it would be better to do that kind of a design with a solid yarn instead of variegated, but it's up to you. So you can see what I'm talking about, how the stitch definition really shows with the garter stitch and with the stockinette. It's a good yarn. So now you've seen it knitted, and it is very, very easy to unravel. The stitches just come right apart. No problem at all. I like this yarn. I think it'd be fun to make a big project with. It would work well for adult clothing as well, even though it's made for kids. I think it would be good for adults because it is so soft. Okay. Now personally, I feel like this L hook is too big for this yarn. See how loose the stitches are? I think I'd rather use a K or a J hook because this just feels too loose to me. But I'm going to persevere with this L that they recommended. Do some single crochets and doubles. See how they turn out. It's easy to work with. Very quick. Some doubles. There. So it's worked up very quickly and the fabric lays flat, but it is really loose. It's a loose fabric with this L hook. I want to see how it works with a K or a J. Let's see. This is a K. That L hook just felt too big to me. I'm using a plastic crochet light hook here. I 
These are my favorite hooks. I think this yarn might work better with a metal hook if you use a size K like I'm doing. I don't have a K that's in middle. It feels kind of tight with this plastic hook. And that could be why they recommended the L hook. So the K hook makes a tighter fabric for sure, but it might get a bit of a curve to it. Uh oh, there. The curve is a little bit, but not that bad. Let me try doubles with it. It did work more quickly with that L hook than it does with the K, so I think that they're probably right that L is the right hook. L felt a little bit too big to me though, but it depends on you. So there's the way the fabric looks with the K hook. It's a little bit more compact, a little tighter. So there we go. You've seen it knitted and crocheted. It's a good standard yarn to use for baby stuff, to make stuff go fast and easy and quick and beautiful and soft. So there we go. Hope you have fun with your Burnett Softy Baby Chunky Yarn. Talk to you later. Bye.